What is going on everybody? It is Ahmed and I am back today with yet another video for you on today guys We're gonna be giving updates on pal AI now that we're seeing some really heavy hitters discussing this project in details and talking about its multi-billion dollar potential. Now remember as always, I like to preface by saying that I'm not a financial advisor, just putting you guys on the plays that I am in. If you're new around here, consider smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel. Buckle in, it's time to prepare for the bull run. And hopefully, as we've seen time and time again, there's going to be a lot of money to be made. Small investors and big investors alike are looking forward to potentially making what could be equivalent to what was seen during the dot-com bubble, what was seen during the gold rush, this is our time to shine. Bitcoin above 52,000 at 52.3, Ethereum approaching 2,900 for the first time in two years, folks. Solana at $112 per coin, but we're here to talk about Pal AI because look at this chart. I haven't seen a cryptocurrency chart do something like this since previous bull run because this is not just a... 1 million to $10 million gain that we're seeing. This is a $405 million market cap token that I started discussing on this channel when it was below 5 million. With $7.19 million in the liquidity pool, things are looking great for PAL. Volume is picking up above $5 million. And I love it because they do have a tax on their contract, 4% buy, 4% sell tax, meaning they're accumulating a lot of ETH that they're giving back to their holders. And in addition, they're able to significantly back up the project with buybacks and things alike. But all that doesn't really matter. AI cryptocurrencies are on absolute fire. We're seeing them all doing some exceptional numbers over the last few days. And PAL is leading the pack as it is outperforming the majority of cryptocurrencies as a whole, but in addition, outperforming all the AI projects. But let's go ahead and talk about what I mentioned on the thumbnail and title, and that is Mr. Alex Becker. If you guys don't know who Alex Becker is, he has right around a million, a million followers over on Twitter and on his YouTube channel. He has about 1.4 million subscribers. Uh, he's someone that I watched very closely during the last bull run. And ever since the market sentiment has shifted, he started talking about cryptocurrencies yet again. And in this video that was published a day ago, 32 crypto, cryptocurrencies in the portfolio that is making billions in 2024. Number in the 20th minute, he talks about Pal AI specifically. But more interestingly, over on his Twitter, you could see here that 10 hours ago he posted drinks milk, checks Pal price, spits, uh, spits, blows milk out in shock, enjoys gains, but regrets wasting the milk. And he's talking about Pal AI's price action. It's been on an absolute parabolic run. And a lot of people are wondering is Pal going to continue to perform the way it has over the last few days and even few months? The answer, in my opinion, is of course. Alex here continues and says, going deep in the rabbit hole of AI cryptos, should have a video releasing next week on them, meaning this coming week. Yes, this week. I don't think, I know we are going to see blank or beep like nuclear run in them like we saw in gaming in 2020, 2021. So he's basically saying that AI cryptocurrencies are going to be the main stage of all things attention, all things retail, and even institutional backing for cryptos. He said, I'm already deep in PAL and 0x0. Zero zero. What else? Over 3,000 likes, 600,000 impressions since yesterday. So again, someone like him being one of the heavier hitters on both YouTube, Twitter, and just overall crypto, it's significant when you have this kind of backing with an individual. And most interesting is he's an investor just like you and I, for those of you that are in PAL already, or maybe on the sideline trying to identify whether or not you want to get in. But all I'll continue to say is, remember, PAL is currently at a $404 million market cap. The entire global cryptocurrency market by market cap is sitting right around a $2 trillion market cap with Bitcoin holding about half of that. So with that being said, we see products like ETH, obviously these layer ones that are extremely powerful, Solana, XRP, Cardano, these are the ones that already have maybe some of that 5 to 10x, 15, 20x potential. At the very best, maybe you're going to get some 20x returns. But once you start coming down, these are all in the billions. Start going into the hundreds of millions of dollars in market cap, right? You come down, you see AOTA, you see things like Bonk, different meme coins. You keep coming down almost the top 100 cryptocurrencies all the way down to Jupiter. These will give you some better returns, of course, as long as they have a good mechanism or they have some great 
technology behind them. We know the AI boom has been significant. And if you continue to scroll down, now we're going to the top 200 cryptocurrencies. Right now you see things like Flux, Radium, which is a DEX over on Solana, significant projects that can do some significant numbers. Now you start going into the mid caps and even lower uh, market cap coins. And if you continue to scroll down just a little bit over to 200s, you'll see as we come down further and further, you start to look at some of these projects that have, again, some potential. And there's always a mix. There are memes and there are non-memes. What's interesting to me, yes, I think, with Pali being ranked 225th, up 116 on the week, with a fully diluted market cap of 404 million, 319 million of an actual market cap, we're talking a 225th ranked cryptocurrency that could become amongst the top 50. With that being said, that doesn't put PAL at a 10x. That puts PAL at a potential 100x multiplier from current price, meaning you can see some significant gains even if you're getting in here at the top. And when I say top, I mean local top. Social sentiment has been nothing short of amazing for PAL. I'm loving what we're seeing over on their Twitter, over on their socials, and I'm just glad to be one of the people that was able to get in on day one and continue to work with everyone else. For those of you that are wondering, am I still early? They've reached 25,000 holders as of yesterday. February 17th, 25,000 unique holders holding PAL. To give you some perspective, for those of you that are maybe involved with things like Shiba Inu and other cryptocurrencies that I've been talking about highly for many, many years, remember, those have millions of people that have already invested with over one to two million investors and holders of those currencies. So with PAL having 25,000, what happens when that number reaches 100,000, 200,000? And don't forget to talk about exchanges. I put out this tweet as well. I said to all CEXs, don't fade PAL. Binance hasn't listed PAL. Coinbase hasn't listed PAL. Crypto.com, Kraken, KuCoin, Bybit, Robinhood, all of these big cryptocurrency exchanges that bring in a lot of volume, a lot of interest from the retail investor's perspective. And you can see a lot of volume and a lot of diff different amounts of liquidity coming from these exchanges that have not even been deployed quite yet. So remember, big centralized exchanges, and this is what I want to leave you all with here from Crypto Rover just a couple hours ago. I'm loving Twitter, so make sure you're following me on Twitter at yourpop8. For those of you that aren't, that's where I'm the most active. Check out this schematic right here and let this be the thing that sits with you for the remainder of today going into next week. In 2012, when we witnessed one of the biggest bull runs for Bitcoin, this is all Bitcoin price action. It went from right around pennies all the way up to $115. Parabolic price action. Now we scale that in 2016. For those of you that are around that one, Bitcoin was right around $300 and it went all the way up to beyond $19,000. 2020 came down to a $4,000 market cap all the way till 2021. You guys know in October, November, when it reached $68,000. Where are we at now? That double top, retracement, double top, retracement, double top, retracement. Where do we go now? Is it $300,000, $500,000 in terms of Bitcoin's market cap? If Bitcoin 10 Xs, that means we're talking $10 trillion market cap. Remember this. If Bitcoin 10Xs, we're talking at a $10 trillion market cap. ETH 10Xs, we're talking a $3.3, $3.5 trillion market cap. So for those of you that are far-sighted, saying impossible to see these cryptocurrencies that I'm discussing on this channel, do the multipliers that I'm saying, pay attention to what, have, what has happened previously, and look where the cryptocurrency market is heading. I appreciate your support as always. Thank you all so much for tuning in. That's all I had for you. And until next time, as always, keep investing. Peace.